From volunteering to donating dog food, Lauren Postleo joins me now with ways to help your local pet shelter that doesn't involve actually adopting. Lauren, how are you? I'm good, Natalie, how are you doing? Well, we always enjoy when you're here. We always enjoy the friends that you bring. We always enjoy coming. And uh, this one's extra special. Yes, this here is Margaret. Margaret is a sweet, about two-year-old hound mix. And what's special about Margaret, other than her awesome personality, is she is blind. So she can't see, um, but that doesn't stop her. She actually, when she walks, she keeps her head down and she walks pretty slow, and I think that's to help her figure out her way. Mm -hmm. It helps her navigate. gait, so if she does run into something, she doesn't go too hard, she doesn't hurt herself, um, and then she figures out where things are. And you know what, you and I were talking before this segment started, you shared with me a story of one of your friends, coworkers, who adopted a dog that was blind. And yeah. you really say, though, that they adapt. They so do should, adapt. You should be intimidated. No, you should not be intimidated at all. Uh, my friend's dog, who was blind, uh, figured out the way around the house. So as long as there wasn't something out of place, mm -hmm. um, or someone forgot to pick something up, he knew exactly where he was going. And dogs are very smart creatures, and they learn very quickly. So even Miss Margaret here, she she learns very quickly on where things are and what to avoid. So we're hoping that someone who wants maybe a, a little bit of a special dog like Margaret will hopefully adopt her. Well, I like the idea of uh, if people leave things out. I mean, my husband maybe would benefit from that because he's always <laughs> leaving things out. So that would definitely be a positive might, in our world. It might actually help him pick up the, around the house. But like you were saying, my world's kind of crazy these days with baby and, and dogs that we already have. With that said, though, there are still ways that we can help out shelters. Yes. So let's talk about that today. There are so many ways that people can help. Uh, we have a food pantry, which is to help people that have dogs or cats that maybe can't afford to take care of them. And the other alternative is them for to turn them into us. And we want people to be able to keep their pets. Mm -hmm. So by people donating food to our food pantry, that might help a dog or a cat stay in its home with its family that really wants to keep it with them, but maybe just can't afford to. Um, you can donate other items to the shelter, whether it's toys for the dogs or the cats, and all of this is listed on our website, which is great. Um, you can also volunteer at the shelter. You don't actually have to adopt. You don't even have to foster, but that's another way of not keeping a permanent family member. Um, but there are lots of ways people can help us and, and help the pets. And one other thing I didn't even think about, getting businesses involved. How does that work? What yes. are ways businesses can help? So businesses can do what we call a corporate volunteering. So they would get with our volunteer program coordinator um, and they'd set up a day. They would come in, they can do enrichment for the dogs and cats, whether it's Kongs covered in peanut butter that they get to make and give out or cat treats. We've had some help us with play groups. So it's a good way to be involved at the shelter and still give the animals the enrichment that they need while they're there waiting for their new home. And I think that we need to really stress right now, you are almost to capacity. How many we animals are. are we talking about? How many <laughs> animals need homes out there? We are talking over 500 cats and dogs that we currently have. We are at a very high capacity right now. So we do have our first Saturday coming up. Okay. And our specials are going to be for first responders and retired military, your adoption is free, whether it's a cat or a dog. Aww. And then actually for the day, it is going to be $4 adoptions for dogs and cats. So anybody that's ready to go home will mm -hmm. be a $4 adoption. You can't so, really beat that. And again, just stressing the importance of adopting right now because yes. shelters summer months are full. Summer months are very full. We're full through about August. So if anybody's thinking about adding a new pet, just come and see us. We're actually open. Uh, we've changed our hours. So okay. we're open Tuesdays through Sundays from 10 to 7. Now this Tuesday is 4th of July, so we will be closed that day. But other than that, we are still open from 10 to 7, and we encourage people to come in, volunteer, donate, or adopt. I say there's so many ways to help out. And, of course, where can you send people? Once again, your website, just so people know if they want to get more information. It is hcflgov.net forward slash pets. I say that's a, that's a good website there. Glad you <laughs> tackled that one. Website. Lauren, thank you so much for coming in. Margaret, thank you so much for coming in. Best of luck to her, and yes. also we appreciate your thank time. Thank you, guys.